and welcome to another video. I'm a strong believer that failure is a key to learning about anything. And right now I'm trying to learn as much as I can about black and white film. And this role that I shot over the course of the last few days leads me to believe that I know less about it than I could have ever imagined. As far as my learning process goes with this role of film, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that the exposure, development, and scanning went fairly smoothly compared to roles that I've shot in the past. The bad news is something I'll get to in a minute. For now, let's look at the first two shots from this roll of film. The first shot is okay. Shows you the setting of where I'm at. Nothing special there. It is what it is. The second shot is actually pretty cool. It's one of the better shots on this roll of film, mostly because of the bad news that most of these shots are soft or out of focus. And this one is relatively in focus. Also, it made me think a lot more about what's going on in the cemeteries here. What are those wooden planks that they put behind the tombstone? What is the meaning of some of the symbols on the tombstones? And what more can I learn about that while I'm here in Japan? As you can clearly see here, or not so clearly see, this is where the trouble begins for me, and the photos start to be out of focus. Almost all of the rest of this roll has some focus issue, and I'm not sure if it's a problem with the camera, problem with the lens, problem with me, and knowing so little about film as I do right now, it's hard for me to evaluate what that exact problem is and how to go about fixing it but I guess that's all part of the learning process. And that's what makes this whole thing even more confusing is that some parts of the shot are in focus while some are completely out of focus. Some of these shots went according to plan while some didn't whatsoever. I had a comment on an earlier video that a lot of my shots looked like they were really soft. And I think that was a focus problem. That person had the assumption that I was shooting wide open, which is not the case. I'm usually shooting between F5.6 and F11, which should leave a lot of things, or at least in the relative neighborhood of what I'm trying to focus on in focus, which makes me believe that in the next video, I really need to make the focus of the video, finding focus and getting that focus exactly right all the time. Honestly, my biggest takeaway from this roll of film is that shooting film is pretty difficult, but shooting with manual focus is that much more difficult. And the whole process is kind of something I'm chasing after anyways to make this feel like more of an art form where digital is so easy, you just pop a shot off, it's not difficult, it's totally crisp, perfect, and doesn't have a problem whatsoever where film has all of these other issues that you have to deal with to fully understand the medium. However, this other shot with the guy walking in front of the convenience store, he was supposed to be the focus of that shot, which leads me to believe after doing a little research that I might have a problem called a back focus issue, which is causing things in the background from where I'm trying to focus to be more in focus than the element that I'm actually trying to focus on. So right now I'm trying to focus more on background elements and interesting looking storefronts because it takes me so long to set up any shot with film in terms of getting the exposure right and getting the composition right with the viewfinder since I'm so used to using an LCD screen. Oh, 
I like the shot of the guy moving this motorbike inside his repair place. It's one of the better ones from this role for sure. These other storefronts with people biking in front of them leave me more confused about my earlier focus statements because the shops were what I focused on and they did actually turn out. Since there wasn't a lot going on in the area that I started in, I decided to go over to Ikebukuro because I knew there would be people out and about that I could get in frame. And I wanted to try to get some shots where people were a little bit closer by setting a measured distance and just seeing how they would come out. I didn't take too many of these because I felt like I was just blowing through the film when I was doing this. But these are a few of the shots I took from the hip when I was in Ikebukuro. Some turned out all right. They're still, again, not really in focus and looking really soft, but they might work out all right in some kind of spread. Finally, I went to this area I won't even try to slaughter the name of, but it came up in this list of underrated neighborhoods in Tokyo, and I found it to be pretty great. I had incredible coffee there. There was a ton of cool vintage clothing stores and record shops that were fun to check out and go into, and the general atmosphere of the place to me was like Harajuku with a more hipster style and less of a streetwear style. Even though this roll of film was a bit of a fail, I did get a lot out of it that I can improve upon, and that's what this channel is all about. So I'm looking forward to getting out, shooting again, and seeing if I can sort out the issues I've been having. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, keep developing.